Hi, welcome back to the Potato Museum show. Tom and Meredith here. We're going to be talking about something that is just really fun and important. Uh, part of the potato world is potato printing or potato printing, making potato stencils. Uh, and we're going to uh, be showing you some of these in detail. Look at these, look at these incredible cloths from Africa that are made with uh, potato stencils. You can see here, these are look at that. Kudinta fabrics. This fabric is potato printed. We're going to be showing you how that's all done in a minute. I'm going to be showing you some of my efforts. I'm going to hand the phone, uh, the, the camera over to Meredith. We're going to be just looking at some, some things on the screen here. <clears throat> all right. So potato printing is great to work with kids. Let's see. Let's look at this woman doing it on fabric. Let's see what she's doing. Two rectangular blocks, cut away the edges of a potato and cut it in half. Slice an irregular stripe design into the potato carefully with a knife. Don't you like the way she says potato? potato. I love that. Mm -hmm. Look at this diagonal cut. <laughs> For one block, cut the design vertically and then horizontally on the other. Okay, we got that. Let's see her printing now. Start printing. Press a block into the fabric paint, or for a more even finish, use a paintbrush. Well, she's doing it on fabric, so she's being really careful because, you know, um, it up. To create a modern border on the linen, alternate your blocks to, to mix up your design. Okay, there's that's that one. All right. Now, it just adds a better, better let's flavor let's, to it. Let's like the uh, like looks like the uh, cereal uh, flavor. Whoops, whoops. Hold it. Why is that kid hungry? Give that kid a potato. Oh, here we go. So here we are, uh, and you can see the different cuts that she was doing. Look at this circular one here. I'm going to start this. Uh, so, so here's just some examples over here on the. And uh, doesn't this look good? The way it's just, it's just a, I was doing this with students, and this is a wonderful thing that you can do to learn for students to learn pattern making. Uh, patterns are called, uh, in this case, tessellations. They are something, and now I didn't realize this until I started researching this. This is a fellow who came well known in uh, Japan for potato print artistry. I'm going to look at look at some of these things that he did. This is with these are potato cut prints. Instead of uh, block prints, which the Japanese are, for, are very famous for, he was doing it, this very delicate cutting of the potatoes and then printing, over printing and all that. Uh, this is another, this is this extraordinary. When you think of this is done with potato prints, uh, this man. Look at this one over here. Look at how much overlays that he's done with different potatoes. This is not just, it's maybe, I think it's maybe just one, but it's a very careful way he has painted it. And then the, the whole subject of tessellation, which is something important for children. It's a very introduction into the mathematics of tessellation. Notice how you can make something that's for children to grip, easy to use. And here's back to this, uh, this African fabric. These are all potato prints. And in Zimbabwe, it says that few school art lessons are complete without potato carving and the designs, and it's something that is uh, very featured by uh, African arts and crafts. And this company was started by Ross Byrne in 1989, and they print these fabrics. You can see a picture of, that's a guinea head, I think. Very important bird in the African life and folk art. Here they are printing here, doing it over here. And I, th this was this is now 100% Zimbabwean cloth, 950 print impressions to complete a square meter. This will take all day. They cut the potatoes in the morning, 
uh, and they work on this, so this is extraordinary. Um, and look, so you can see each one of these is a potato. So they dye the fabric first, that dries, and then they take these potato block prints, which we're showing, and there's one, and there's one, and there's one on all these. Then you come over here, and you can see how this would be one potato print. Here's another block print. And then they come up here. Uh, I'm not sure how they do these larger figures. <laughs> it must have pretty big potatoes to do that. And you can see how this one would be done with a giraffe. I'll show this. Um, now back to my students. This isn't just an example. I happened to find these photos the other day. Uh, we did we did this huge huge moral of, of under the water, and each of these kids had a different fish that they carved. You can see some of the other practices, and there's the potatoes there. See them? Kinda. Yeah. So lots of books we've collected uh, on this subject. This one tells a story of these children making having a day, spending the day out making. There are potato prints and doing it. See, there they are. Let see the front. Let me see the front. Yeah. It's but, a Kun Kunterbund. Yeah. It's for, uh, yeah, in Germany. The yeah. Germans are really, yeah, there's lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of things on the internet about uh, kartoffel druck, which I guess it means kartoffel printing, printing with potatoes. Look at the fabric that they can do with this. Look at this woman's dress that she's printed. So this is this is an art form that is very popular around the world. Uh, I want to show you Helen Haddad's book, which is I think probably the best in terms of how to do this. So Helen has shows you how to make different forms, but different forms, how to print with paint. She talks about how to very specific, easy to follow directions. When was this book Mono published? Prince. This book was published oh, in the cute. 80s. Creating backgrounds. Large as the, the turkey is one of my favorites. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. uh, Helen Haddad, she teaches in, uh, her husband teaches at Smith College. Look at, look at the foxes here. Still? I'm not sure. This was back in the 80s. It was this one. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. know. I haven't checked to see what she's doing. Okay, let's see me doing <laughs> some of this. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, and the tessellation I want to just mention. So the important part of with children, introducing them to important math concept. Here's, here's an example of tessellation. So you can see that this pattern is then this pattern and it's then this pattern. It's a repeated pattern. pattern. Repeated pattern. Here's a, here's a repeated pattern. Exactly. Okay. It has lots of applications. In hey, even this. There you go. Repeated, more or less, pattern. Mm -hmm. And here's an egg carton, repeated pattern. Okay. Now my shirt. Well, yeah. Definitely repeated pattern. So it's an <clears throat> important subject in, um, in math. Uh, look, look at barcodes. Here's repeated pattern, but these these are not repeated patterns. These are deliberately not repeated patterns, but it's all part of the, the math subject that you are studying and introducing. Uh, so, because of course, if there was a repeated pattern, then it would not work as a oh, for the yeah. purpose. All right, let's go over here to what I was doing. So I've got uh, I've cut the potato, and I got these little handles here. Uh, let's see, yeah. So I'm gonna spread down around. I may have done too much. That looks like a face. It does. Oh, well, I think I was mistaken, but okay. Okay, now which is not the same pattern? Which one breaks the pattern? I ain't answering that. Huh? That one. Thank you. So then I've got these little grips, see? Well, I can go like this. <laughs> and which one doesn't fit the pattern? I don't know. You can tell. I'm Come on. I'm not answering that one. No. Anyway, it's a lot of fun. You can then cross cross pattern it. <laughs> and that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, and I'm my just finger, my finger's about to die. <laughs> anyway, thanks for so, joining us for the Potato Museum show. Look at this one, by the way. Okay, look, look at that one. You see how many different potato oh, cuts my and patterns goodness. there are in that? Huh? Yeah. One, two, three. Hey, four, thanks five, for watching. 
And uh, don't forget to leave comments and, uh, and subscribe if you feel like it. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. See you again next time on the Potato Museum Show.